We're going to take another look at the 2024 recruiting class, and we're going to shine a spotlight on four-star quarterback Trey Owens, who signed with the Texas Longhorns. Before we do that, you need to click that subscribe button right now because we're covering the 2024 recruiting class every single day this offseason, player by player. You need to know what your players look like before they start taking the field. Do that right now. Stop missing out. But here's his 24-7 sports player profile page. If you're here for just the highlights, Fast forward a few minutes, you will get there. But 24-7 Sports has him rated as a four-star prospect, ranked 16th in the class. The composite has him at 21 among quarterbacks, 6'5", 238, so we do have some size there. We're already enrolled with Texas. We got 11 offers. We have some Power 5 programs looking at him. That being said, we played an All-American Bowl. We don't have a scouting report. But we're locked in with the Texas Longhorns. We're a four-star prospect. Going over to on three, everybody has them as a four-star but ESPN. ESPN has them ranked 22nd. On three has them at 13, a little bit higher than 24-7 sports. That's something to note. Rivals has them at 17. The industry rankings has them at 20. He's listed at 6'5", 235 pounds right here. And then Baylor, SMU, Rice, Texas. Baylor, Texas Tech. So we got some schools looking at him. That being said, let's take a look at the tape. Let's see what he's working with here. We have six minutes and 47 seconds. I believe I got a little bit of a senior year. And then on the back end is his junior highlights. Or it might be flipped around. But we're going to take a look either way. But there we go. The ball got out there kind of quick. First look, though. And I was talking out in front of the wide receiver. Safe spot. So DBs couldn't jump on that. Again, out in front of him. Catches it in stride. Rolls out. Moving around the pocket. We got some ability. Downfield. In stride. Something to look at. Something to think of. Also, we're going to have some quarterback transitions here soon as Arch Manning, Quinn Ewers, Ewers be leaving here soon. A couple years. Ewers next year, Arch Manning after that. So you develop good. Maybe you can get the keys to the car. Ball downfield. you're not a Texas fan, you need to pay attention just in case for portal reasons. With all these players, though, moving well on the run. Scanning good. You see him going through progressions. We're moving. Eyes downfield. Makes the play. Look at that. Look at that. Scanning. Down the field. Gets out quick. All right. All right. Firing it. That's all the way to the other end. We got some arm on him. Whipping it out. Pump fake. We're moving. There we go. Look at that. Getting it done. Very composed and in the pocket. There we go again. We're moving. We're going to pick up some yards. Downfield, letting his wide receiver make a play. Taking some risk, getting it done, getting the ball there. Now in front of his wide receiver. Good hands by the wide receiver, getting it to the other side of the field. We rolling, holds composure good. I've seen a lot out of him. Quarterback wise, he's got some goods. He's got a good arm on him. He can throw some lasers. He's accurate downfield. He's composure in the pocket. Get the ball out quick. Some touch on that one. Out in front of him. 
making sure the wide receiver wasn't like slowing down to get to it. Couldn't really tell 100%, but it was out in front of him. Looks like he was in stride. He's got different touches on different throws. Not all of them are zipping out there. Stepping up. Protects the ball. Saw one quarterback the other day. The ball was never protected. It was out, like, palmed out. Just hanging out there. You'd be surprised some, what little crazy things you'll see. I'll say this. Overall, good quarterback prospect. Has a chance to do things at the Power 5 level. Keep an eye on him. Really need to develop, though. Because Texas is going to keep bringing in quarterbacks. Good kid to have on your roster, though. Especially for the long term. He's there to compete. He's there to push. He's got good anticipation with his ball. And he's accurate downfield. Like to the point where he's allowing his wide receivers to get in stride. Let's see if he does it here. What happens here? Out in front of him. That's huge. That's huge. He could be a sneaky guy who sneaks on the field later. Like there, right out in front of him. Tight coverage on a lot of these. I like to see him against more pass rush. There we go. A little bit something there. Out in front of his guy. Moving around. Eyes downfield. Eyes come downfield. Eyes back upfield. We're moving though now. Locked in on that side. He knew what was going to happen though. That may not have worked well at the next level. Here we go, moving, we're going up. Step back. It's an open. Good play downfield. Good anticipation on that, too. Another thing to point out is we're not seeing all the wide receivers. So, objectively, looking for his anticipation, we're never going to really know. Like, maybe that ball could have came out like a quarter second quicker because there was separation maybe before the separation was there but we don't know we don't know there we go so that might be something we may whip on when looking at some of these quarterbacks is because you're not getting a full shot of the field and their highlights and they're going so quick you're not seeing the the whole entirety of the defense it's a good spot Downfield, moving. We got good feet. Keeping eyes downfield. We're making plays. Getting yards after the catch. We're looking solid. Rolling. Eyes downfield again. We find our target. Middle of the end zone. Look at that. Another guy in the middle of the field. There wasn't really anything on the middle there to, to go over, but... From what I see from this quarterback, I see a guy with good accuracy downfield. He allows his wide receivers to catch it in stride. I think that's a huge deal, considering that you can maximize your yards after the catch. That could get you noticed in practice and in camp. On top of that, we can wheel it and deal it on the short game as well. We can zip it in there. We have good mobility. In the essence, you got a good feel of the pocket. You keep your eyes downfield. If you got to take off, you will. But your eyes are locked downfield, scanning while you're moving around the pocket. I like him. I think he's underrated. I think he's going to be a good quarterback prospect. I think he needs to develop up a little bit more. Of course, there's more we need to see, like more of the field to be able to see what's going on. But it looks like he's got good anticipation is what I'm saying. Looks like he anticipates when that break's going to happen. Gets the ball there on time. He can also throw it to the other side of the field towards the sideline on that out route. He's got the arm strength to push it there. That's going to allow him to get noticed. He's going to Texas. We got wide receivers there galore, but a tough depth chart. But he does have some goods to his game. If they need to lean on him or if he starts making some noise, it might happen. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button on the way out. I want to thank you for watching. Catch you on the next video.